reason why I say that is because, look, if you can get something, get it. But I don't want us to go overboard. And, Amen. You know, I know we know you love. We love each other. We know that. Amen. Okay. But but don't don't go beyond your capability. Amen. Yes, yes. Just to make people think Amen. a certain way. Amen. If they don't love you when you give them a five dollar gift, then they don't love you. Amen. So we just thank God. Amen. For you. Like I said, it's totally voluntary. So if you want to, give me, let me know. Amen. Amen. Um, ministry leaders, we're going to meet next Sunday after church. If you're in leadership and you're in the leadership position here, I need to meet with you next Sunday after church. Ten minutes. Give me ten. I know I always say that. <laughs> ten minutes. That's it. Um, if you have to leave, I know the lead's got to go. I get it. And I'll text y'all and let y'all know what we're going to talk about. So don't sweat it. <laughs> Amen. Um, so please, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a leader in the ministry, stay after, please. Um, also, look, if you didn't give those dates to Sister Toya, we're praying for them also, amen. If she went to go visit her son, amen, for Thanksgiving. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So if you didn't give her your dates, please do that. Amen. Look, Christmas this year is on a Sunday. We're discussing it as a church, whether you want to come in or whether you want to us to record from the house and we will send it out to you either way um, Brother Earl has to look to find out if these uh, rooms are available because people have Christmas parties and, and all kind of stuff so um, but we want to see if he's going to get that available and uh, just we'll, we'll put it out to you and then we'll decide what, what you want to do, so be thinking about that. And I know early in the morning, the babies, they want to get their gifts. Amen. The parents want to see them get their gifts. <laughs> so just, just let us know. Amen. It'll be the same time, of course, um, so there will be no change to the time. Amen. Anybody glad to be in the service? Any birthdays? Anybody celebrating the birthday? Coming now, so. I mean, look, she's been telling us since October, y'all. Stop playing. I'm like, like, you know. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Anyone else? Praise God. Yes. So, uh, hey, Pastor, my sister celebrated her birthday, y'all. Uh, Today, I think. Oh, Linda! Yeah. Right! Yeah! That was her birthday! That's right! Yeah. Yeah, why she ain't saying anything? Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned Doug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can forget that. <laughs> uh, man, that's right. Okay, amen. We got um, another announcement. Come on up. Aww. Yeah, you're going to do this. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, stay in there. What up? I'm going to take a seat. Hey, everybody. Hey. hey. Um, hey. Um, my announcement is uh, if anybody would like to partake in Mass Choir, uh, we'll be starting that next year. But um, our first, like, kind of like, you know, trying to see who is going to be a part of it, I need those like to to stay after so I can go over a few things and get numbers and all of that. So if you would like to join, please stay after like five, ten minutes. I ain't gonna keep you long. She's <laughs> <laughs> gonna let y'all know she like her daddy. She like her daddy. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. 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 Thank God for the announcements. Amen. And the birthdays. Praise God for them. Anniversaries. Amen. Thank God for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Sister Wilson, good to see you in the house today. Amen. 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 Praise God. Always a blessing. Amen. To have you in the presence. We just thank God for you. Amen. There's a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Mother sis in the house. Hey. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, that's right. It's a word from the Lord. Amen. Coming from Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 3. We give honor to God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We give honor to the preachers in the house. Amen. And even the Reverend Stephanie, as she's on the road coming back. Amen. We give honor to our deacons. Amen. 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 All of the officers. Members of this church. Amen. We thank God for you. Ecclesi, excuse me, Ephesians chapter 3. We'll start with verse number 13. And we're going to read it till the end of that chapter. Ephesians chapter 3. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'll be reading from the King James Version, and the Word of God says, Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. Somebody say rooted and grounded. Rooted and grounded. That means that nobody can take it away from you. That means you cannot be shaken from love. Listen, it says that being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. From those scriptures comes the topic, God is able. God is able. I need the oh, I need the
brothers and sisters, what a time, what a time, what a time. Oh, God, God is also able to carry you through, y'all. Yeah, in Isaiah, God mentions how he, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, fear not, for I will help thee. David reminds us in the 23rd Psalm, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no yes, evil, yes. for thou art with me. Yes, yes. yes, my brothers and sisters, God is able to carry you through. Yes, oh, my brothers, God is able to finish what he started. Yes. Philippians 1 and 6 says, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun good. a good work, yes. and you will perform it until yes. the day of Jesus Christ. Yes. Is there anybody in here that God has Romans 13 and 1 
earth. He's the one who placed the stars in the sky. He's the one who knows the very number of hairs on your head. Psalms 135 and 6 tells us, Whatsoever the Lord please, that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places. Let somebody know that wherever you go, God is there. Yeah.
Because of your belief in God, there's a reward waiting for you. If you would just hold on to God's unchanging hand. He's from everlasting to 
everlasting. He is God. No one else can claim this man. No one else can proclaim this power, which is eternal. But for those who choose to follow Jesus, a glorious eternity awaits. My brothers and sisters, 2 Peter 1 and 11, in the New Living Translation, it states that God will open wide the gates of heaven for you to enter into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Then, my brothers and sisters, we can hear the Lord say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Yes. My brothers and sisters, I'm here to let you know, to encourage you today, that God is able. Yes. Stop worrying about that little stuff. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Stop Keeping your mind on stuff that won't let you sleep at night. Stuff that try to take the peace out of your home. I dare you to walk through your house and bind up that devil in the name of Jesus. You walk through your house, I don't care what room, every room, even go to the bathroom. Because if the enemy find one room, I need to protect. He's able. Yes, he is. Keep trusting. Keep believing. And have faith. My brothers and sisters, God is able. For four reasons. Because of his authority. Because of your belief. Because he is Lord and because he is everlasting. Yeah. Come on, let's give y'all a hand. Clap for Yes. 
And once you get poured into the water, come on, come on. <laughs> the Bible says he's sweeter than the honey on the honeycomb. Yes. Yes. So when you add the water, you, which is the flavor, and God, which is sweeter than the and you. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> May God bless you. Yes. I'm going to keep you as my prayer. We're standing in the building.